And your baby will definitely not be born like this because I feel like this ping pong ball is gonna video I'm going to be showing you exactly what happens during a contraction, what the uterus is, what it looks like, what's going on and how you can support it to move your labour forward. So keep watching. But first go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any hypnobirthing content, tools, techniques and tips to take you into having a really positive birth experience. So we're not 100% sure why our bodies go into labour exactly when they do. But the latest research shows that when baby's lungs have matured enough to be able to air breathe and not be attached to the placenta anymore and live in fluid, they release a protein, almost like a signal to mum's body that the lungs are mature and ready to now breathe on the outside world and they are ready to be born. So when that happens mum will then start to release the hormone oxytocin which is what we need for our uterus to start contracting so there's this messaging between mum and baby almost like this signaling i'm ready to be born and then mum's body can respond and go into labor so when people say to you oh baby will come when it's ready it kind of is true because when the lungs are ready to air breathe baby's letting mum know i'm ready to be born and that can trigger things and start labour and get things going. So it's important to always remind yourself that when you're waiting for your labour to start, it will happen. And there is a signalling between mum and baby to say when things are ready to get going. So when you're not pregnant, your uterus looks a little bit like a deflated balloon and it grows and inflates as the baby grows. Now, not many people know this, and I certainly did not know this during my first pregnancy, but your uterus is made up of muscles. It's a big bag of muscles. Who knew? Um, and I'm going to use this to demonstrate, but basically what you've got going on in your uterus are two sets of muscles that are going to work together in order to contract the uterus and allow your baby to be born. So what have we got here? At the bottom, this long piece here is a little bit like your cervix. So during your labour, this cervix needs to shorten, because as you can see, it's a little bit long at the moment. So it needs to shorten. And once it's shortened, it can then start to open so that babies head can start to appear and that's when midwives will say you know you're this many centimeters dilated the more it kind of starts to open and draw back but how are we going to get this cervix from being long and thick to being short thin and opening up so I think this is really fascinating but you have two sets of muscles that are working together in your uterus in a pair a bit like other muscles that you have in your body that work as a pair so muscles like your triceps and your biceps they work together as a pair but what's really important to note is that this pair of muscles are involuntary which means you have no control over them whatsoever you have pairs of voluntary muscles in your body so again your triceps and biceps are voluntary muscles because you have control over them and you can move them when you want to but involuntary muscles work together and you have no control over them. So you can't make them start and you can't stop them. So other involuntary muscles that you have are things like your eyes blinking. We don't need to think about it or your heart beating. These are things that are happening in your body that you don't need to think about. They just happen. So the two sets of muscles that you have working as a pair, you have these vertical muscles coming up and over the top. And then you have these horizontal muscles going all the way round the baby. And they're nice and thick at the bottom. They're holding everything in. They're holding in all that fluid. They're keeping your cervix shut. And they're making sure baby stays in for the duration of your pregnancy. So what's got to happen during labour is these horizontal muscles will need to soften and relax. And then these vertical muscles coming over the top will come down and start to pull these horizontal muscles up and out and draw them back 
and pull them out of the way. And as that starts to happen, your cervix will then start to shorten. Every time it's pulled back a little bit more, it will start to shorten. And once it's shortened, it will then start to open and it will start to dilate. So a contraction can be described a little bit like a tightening sensation because it is kind of tightening. As it's pulling up, it is like a tightening kind of sensation and then it returns back to where it was. And during a contraction, you might see your tummy actually lift up and go really tight and hard and then you'll see it return back to its original position. So in order for these two muscles to kind of work harmoniously together and get into a rhythm, it requires mum to be completely relaxed. It is so important. If you are tense or tightening up or feeling really fearful, these muscles will get really tight and restricted. And if your whole body is really tense, there's not much space for this movement to actually occur. So you can imagine it is quite a long process and that's why labour can take such a long time. First of all, these two muscles have got to get in a rhythm together and if it's your first pregnancy, they've never done this before. So labour can be quite stop-starty because they're trying to get into this rhythm of these muscles pulling up these horizontal muscles here. And so it can take a little while just to get into that flow and to build that intensity. So as these horizontal muscles are being drawn back and the vertical muscles are pulling them up and drawing them away, you will start to see that cervix at the bottom is starting to shorten. And if we have a look this way, you can now see that we're starting to dilate. So it is a tightening sensation, but it's also pulling up and returning, pulling up and returning. What we should start to see is a bit more dilation, um, but I have got a bit of a dodgy balloon here, so it's not <laughs> quite going to dilate how I hoped it would do. And your baby will definitely not be born like this because I feel like this ping pong ball is going to... Oh! <laughs> I promise your uterus will not explode. But hopefully you get the idea that these vertical muscles are pulling up and drawing back these horizontal muscles so that the cervix can shorten and dilate and that whole uterus starts to draw back and away from baby it's like pulling a sack away from the baby and then all the muscles get really thick on top so that when you're ready to birth your baby there's their muscles and strength on top of that baby to help push baby down and out so just bear in mind and i found this really useful during my labor once i had this information to think about what muscles need. What do other muscles need, such as your arms and legs, when you're running or working out? They need plenty of oxygen, they need to be hydrated, and you need to be relaxed, despite whether you're exercising or not. You know, if you're running, you need to be quite relaxed when you're going for a long run, rather than being tense, because that's not gonna help you get very far. So always keep in your mind, I need to be completely relaxed in order for these muscles to work together. I need to be sending lots of oxygen. So using my breathing techniques, let's make sure I get plenty of oxygen down to that uterus muscle so that it can do its job efficiently, keep myself hydrated. And I need to be really calm and allow this process to happen because if I don't dilate and if I don't support this uterus muscle, my baby can't be born and my labor cannot move forward. If you're tense and fearful, it will make the process a lot more difficult. If you are full of fear and your fight or flight response is on, all your oxygenated blood will be drawn away from that uterus and it will get really tense and rigid. All your oxygenated blood will go to your arms and legs so that you're ready to fight or defend yourself. And then the muscles will become really constricted and tight and tense, but they will still be trying to pull up They'll still be trying to draw back those horizontal muscles, but it'll be very difficult and it will create a lot of pain. 
So hopefully this makes things a lot clearer on what's actually happening when you're having a contraction, what's going on with the uterus, what is the uterus and what is it made up of and how can you support your body to move your labour forwards. If you found this video really helpful, go and check out my other hypnobirthing content on my channel. I will be uploading more videos, more tips and techniques surrounding hypnobirthing and having a more confident and positive birth. I'm all about empowering couples so that they have the best possible experience of birth and the best understanding. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Take care. Bye bye.